I rarely catch her first thing in the morning on camera, so we're headed to the bus, right? She's grabbing a mask really quick. I'm not sure if it's raining out here. Definitely still wet. I have a timer for hash browns, just one left. <laughs> um, so I may not be able to stay at the bus stop. Is it raining? Uh, not really. Now you have book fair today, right? Yeah, well. And what are you gonna get? Um, a book set and then a train. No, a book. Well, the set was probably too much for what I gave you. Gotcha. Right, and a small trinket. Yeah. Right, okay. Made it home with four minutes to spare on my hash browns are in here. I'm gonna flip that guy. All right. Get this guy out. I have some cottage cheese and some berries for the rest of my breakfast and a little, goodness sakes. All right, so I need my fork cleaned off. Also, don't judge by the pan. I can't pick it up. All right, let's go eat. So today I am in a, not a hurry, but I do have a busy morning. I have another ultrasound scan. Came at the perfect timing because I'm out of like spending money outside of the trip. And so I need to replenish my supply and it's gonna go toward a really fun thing for the girls that they don't know about yet. My scan money, I should say. So I have that scan and it's a two hour scan on the lady and my thyroid which means I'm probably going to get into another round of two or three scans, which is really helpful because then that's extra money. And then right after that, I have to go get some supplies for an activity for Ashley tonight. I'm gonna show you the, the little invitation. I don't think there's any information on there. I didn't put like addresses or anything. And it's tonight and you'll see this in the future. What the invitation looks like, it's so cute. We're gonna make cookies tonight for service. We're gonna make a plate of cookies for a few different families. They're gonna be little lucky plates of charm. <laughs> playing off of St. Patty's Day this week, so that'll be kind of fun. And then I need to find a printout of some kind of like shamrock or St. Patty's Day that you can color while we wait for the cookies. We also need to like make, have them sign a little card for the families that we give the cookies to. I'm trying to think what else I was gonna do. Anyway, I'm gonna hurry and eat because I have to go for this scan soon. And then my day keeps rolling quickly and I have that activity tonight for Ashley's like church class, so. That's why I'm kind of in a hurry this morning. All right, I'm gonna head into my little scan here. Part of me kind of hopes that they'll go over by like 10 minutes. Last time they paid me $35 by going over for 10 minutes. Not a bad gig, but I am curious if they're gonna make me wear a mask. There's no mask mandate, but this is kind of like a medical office, so I'm not sure like what they're gonna require, require. So I'm kind of curious about that. But I have headphones that I've packed. I'm gonna listen through YouTube music. I'm trying to pick out the songs that I want for our Hawaii videos. And I'm trying to find like that one song. If you watch our Hawaii playlists in the past, you'll know that there's usually like one song at the beginning that like, oh, it just gets you ready for it. Go check out our playlist. I'll link it here from last year and you'll see what I mean. So I've gotta go find music and I've got a whole bunch saved and I just need to listen through a whole bunch of them and then when I get home, I can download it onto my laptop, but that'll keep me occupied for two hours or some games on my phone. So I'll be back with you guys in just a minute. All right, so I did have to wear a mask. So now I have like mask nose all over again. They are kind of deeming themselves like medical community and they have nurse technicians and anyway, people coming in from different countries like Korea. And so they're like, we're just gonna be extra cautious. We're making a company rule versus a mandate for the masks. But about five minutes before they were done and they literally had just said, okay, we have about five more minutes. And uh, I got a call from got a call from the school district, and it said it was from the district. And so I thought it was like one of those like universal messages, like we all have. So all of my kids have to make up their snow day from the winter this Friday, and so I kind of just figured it was that. Um, just a reminder. Hey, guess what? We still have school this Friday, even though it's on the calendar that we don't kind of a thing. And I was still doing the scan and I thought it was kind of rude to, uh, you know, interrupt them and answer the call. And so then I looked at the voicemail and all I saw was, Chelsea is not feeling well. <laughs> it's like, 
oh no no you know so I went to call back um, I was reading as I was reading this message and they called me again and they were like we well she kept saying don't call my dad I don't know the number but he won't be able to do anything for me <laughs> so I am on my way to go and pick her up she does not say very often that she doesn't feel well like and she does not miss school she has been so tired and so sore from PE and from all the new things that she is doing and <laughs> she just bears with it and goes and comes home and rests and does her homework and <laughs> she's just a good kid. So I know she must really not feel well and I do not think this is COVID. One, because she just had it. I, I think she easily could have the flu or um, just really bad cold. They didn't say what her symptoms were. They just said she's been here like more than she's been in her classroom. And I don't know why they didn't call me sooner today. If she's really, I mean, it's noon. So I don't know why they didn't call me before now. Maybe they just kind of were giving her a chance to like try and feel better or whatever. But rushing over to pick her up and see if she needs something. If she is a little nauseous, maybe I'll stop and get her a Sprite on her way home. So I don't know. I just have to find out what she's sick with and then I'll kind of go from there. But it's kind of fun too because I get to go to her new middle school. We can't go in yet. They're just barely starting to get volunteers signed up again and get them back in the classrooms. And I haven't had an activity that is something I can sign up for. So haven't seen the inside of this new school. So let's go get Chelsea, poor thing. Hey kiddo. Hi. You're just not feeling good? No, like I went to PE and I went to go get a drink of water and like, I just like, I t like got up and like, I felt so dizzy. Oh, we need to keep, keep going up. We need to keep going up. We're on the top level. Sorry, we're on the top level. All right, Chelsea. All right. Have some lunch really quick. Stop and grab her a bite. And then I want you to rest, okay? Yeah. All right, I've been working on the computer. It was just doing something funny and I couldn't get my videos to upload. But anyway, I am gonna do something I don't actually want to do. <laughs> I would actually love to start packing for our trip to Hawaii. Yes, it's a little early. Yes, we have a lot of stuff going on the week before we leave. So I am planning to be prepped and packed and ready to go a whole week in advance. We'll get to that later, but if I can hurry and do this chore, yes, it's a chore to me. I really don't like cooking, but I need to, where is it? I have like 10 pounds of beef get it out yeah all of that i need to get it on a tray oh whatever i need to cook it all i'm going to cook all of it and then we can do with it what we want i can add it to red sauce for spaghetti i can add it i can add taco seasoning for most everything else but i just have not wanted to do this i don't know why but i'm going to turn a show on my laptop right here and i'm going to make this Get everything out of the way. Get out my little chopper, you guys. Where did I go? If you do not have one of these for cooking taco meat or like beef, where did it go? This. You have to get one of these. They're like $6 on Amazon. Get one. They will save your life. I just, I'm gonna have to do this in a couple batches, which is I think what I'm not looking forward to the most, but my kids did well with their cleaning today. The dishes are clean and Abby can unload those when she gets home. There's no dirty dishes in the sink for Ashley to load, so she is going to be very excited tonight. I decided I'm not gonna go to the store. Um, Chelsea's okay and I can leave her alone, but I'm not gonna go to the store and get the few supplies I need for our activity tonight until we're on our way, but we'll just leave early to go to their activity. Chelsea has a treasure hunt for her activity and we are making the cookies. I think I talked about that this morning, but I'm gonna get some Rolos to put like gold. We tried to look for some gold coins yesterday, her, or the other leader did, and she couldn't find any. So I'm going to cook this meat and watch a show. It's just, I, ugh, I hate doing this. All right, I'm stalling. <laughs>
pan going into the fridge. It doesn't take much time to cool down when they're in here. And then I put them into a gallon sized bag here in the freezer and then they're all prepped and ready to go for when I need them. I was gonna put them in like one pound increments and make nine different bags, but the reality is when I pull one out to like make lasagna, I like to make two lasagnas. So, and make extra red sauce to make like spaghetti that night or something. So leaving them in those bigger bags helps me like make more meals when I actually pull it out to do it. Because honestly, if I'm motivated to make a meal, <laughs> I'm extra motivated to make an extra, extra meal. So, also, look how much grease. Look, filled to the brim in that McDonald's cup. It's come in handy today. But I also made myself an artichoke while I did that. Under an hour and only one episode. I'm gonna remember that next time. Just enjoy a show and then you can go and eat lunch. <laughs> anyway, so I do feel productive. The kids are gonna be home from school soon. So now my job is to get Ashley to eat. She's struggling. Every other day is a good day, but the other other day is a bad day. So take that as it is, but I need all hands on deck to be able to handle her tonight. Um, it is what it is. Okay, Ashley's gonna be my little helper. Sorry I'm not turning the lights on, but we're about to leave. Because a lot of activities I've had to sometimes play in them with you because you don't yeah. know what to do. Okay, take those to the car and I gotta get the mixer out. Go. She I'll get the door for you. Me the mixer. Because hers isn't big enough. She just texted me about an hour ago. Okay. I took another nap today. I don't mean to, but I kind of do. Like, you lay down on the couch to watch a show, knowing full well you're comfortable. <laughs> Felt good, though. Thank you for getting my phone. Buckle up. We are right on time. We are going to stop and try and find something gold to go on top of our plate of goodies. Right? We're just doing cookies. Cookies and then a little pile of gold. And Chelsea decided to stay home. She Every time she kind of gets up and walks around and does something, she just gets a little, it's not like nauseous, she just gets a little uneasy, a little dizzy. I think she's just worn out and she's just taking it easy. She spent most of the afternoon in bed and then is now just kind of up at my desk coloring and painting and Kaylee gave her some clay so she was making some little clay figures. Um, but I think she's gonna grab a bite to eat. Jason just got home and then crawl back into bed. So it's just, oh, I really hope that doesn't fall over. I have my big, huge mixer in the back. Gotta take that. I almost wish we could just do these activities at my house. It'd be a lot easier, but they like us to have them at the church whenever possible. So I gotta get buckled up. Okay, two bags of Rolos. Easy, right? You guys. Look how disheveled I look. It's also the bad lighting. Um, yeah, the apron. I've got like a million things here in my apron. We just finished the activity. We're actually 10 minutes beyond it. I'm trying to get everything cleaned up. Let's see what I have in my pockets here. Oh, the last of the Rolos. There was zero way for me to film anything in there. Chaos. Absolute chaos. But I will show you. We'll show you the cookies more when I make the last of the dough. Um, and I'll show you at home too. But. We've got a little bit of dough left here, and then we put them on a plate, a gold plate, and then sprinkled on the Rolos, and then wrapped it in green tissue paper, and then each of the girls made a little rainbow, um, wishing you luck this week or something, and then we divvied it out to all the kids to go and deliver to different families in the neighborhoods um, closest to them, which works great because they all live in different neighborhoods, so everyone kind of gets covered, and it was fun but it is a lot of work to have nine girls help you make cookies. So Ashley's inside getting her, or going to the bathroom really quick. I need to take my apron off. I actually kept it on because it was a good pocket. <laughs> I was able to put a lot of things in it. There's Ashley. All ready to go home? Yeah, I'm tired. Uh, yeah. <laughs> She's just as much of a helper as I am and if not more, to try and encourage the kids to well, work together and not put your fingers in the dough. Well, I also don't like drawing that much either. No, you didn't draw, but you were in there helping to get all the cookies in and off, on and off the pans and... I like doing that. Yeah, you like doing that stuff. Okay. And one of the girls, she was so cute, we were making the cookies, or putting them on the trays and kind of waiting for them to cook. She's like, well, what else do we need to do? And I was like, you want to wash the dishes? And she got all excited. She's like, I love washing dishes. Good. 
the missionaries just came by and got a cookie from us. And so they're giving a thumbs up, having eaten it. I wish we had had more. They came in right here at the end and I'm like, I gave away all my other cookies. You can put your finger in the dough, I don't mind. But anyway, did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we learned that our next service activity that's cooking needs to just be making cookies for everyone in the church building. <laughs> like, just keep making them and hand them out on individual plates to give to whoever is walking by the kitchen. Because everyone's like, oh, you made cookies for everyone? And we're like, no, they're not for you guys. <laughs> I think that would be really fun, don't you think, Ash? Yeah. Can't even see her. Except for that we, the mixer is about over there. Yeah, the mixer was not big enough. <laughs> we ended up having to put it in that bowl. I am like not getting focused because it's so dark. But we're gonna head home, clean up the dough. We'll cook it tomorrow. You can't even see us. We'll we'll see you at home. All right, we're back at home. Do you have the one with that? Oh no, they I wouldn't let him touch it. Trust me. He's like, I don't know if I should touch this dough. No, we were very adamant. No fingers can touch this dough. Correct? I don't want some dipping in with a bunch of goofy little kids. <laughs> no. In fact, I think we dirtied about 10 or 12 spoons, yeah. right? Because yeah. I was like, no one is touching this dough if it's not with the spoon. It's pretty good, right? It's the crumble mm -hmm. cookie recipe. Good job, Ash. So I think I'm going to make this up tonight and have that as my snack. You need to go to bed. You're tired. Yeah, <laughs> we got done. Take a shower? We no. Shampoo now. My stomach's <laughs> We always had shampoo. She got in the car and she was like, that's exhausting. <laughs> It's tiring. It's a lot to have eight munchkins or nine munchkins like you that don't like to follow all the rules. Some of them do. Yeah. And others like to stick <laughs> their whole hand in the dough, right? All right. We've got two batches of cookies. One right there and one right here. They are smaller. You're supposed to do them big because they cook better that way with this recipe. But these ones are the right size. They could be a little bit bigger, but I wanted more cookies <laughs> to give everyone up at least one or two here in our family. Um, but I'm gonna make these, and then I'll show you what they look like when they're done, and then I'm gonna sign off, because I'm exhausted. I'm eating chicken nuggets for dinner, because I just don't care. But I will have broccoli. I already have some in here I need to eat. Maybe I'll have some broccoli and some raspberries while I wait for my chicken nuggets. And trying. Okay. Here's the cookies out of the oven, and then as they sit here on the sheet, they kind of like flatten out a bit and finish cooking in the middle. But you don't want to cook them anymore inside the oven, or else it'll burn them. All right, here's what the cookies looked like after they- you're interrupted. What? You're interrupting again. You're not watching another episode. I get to watch now. No, no, I know I gotta start it so I can pause it. Okay, then pause it. One second. Oh, Jason is being a little whatever. Um, this is what they look like when they've kind of flattened down. Okay, up close here. They're pretty good. So I am going to enjoy one of these. These ones need to come out. Not sure why my timer didn't go off. Alexa, do I still have a timer set? You have 20 seconds left. Oh, 11 minute time. 20 seconds was too long for those guys. See how the smaller ones don't cook as well. They need to be lots bigger. I did the exact same time, exact same temperature. The bigger ones cook better. With that, I'm going to take off my face and my bra, <laughs> and have a cookie, and watch Bachelor <laughs> finale. And I'm going to enjoy it. Hi. Haven't really like said hi to you today. I mean, over the phone we've talked a few times. But in passing. In passing. It's kind of our life during the week. <sighs> I'm, we're tired. We're going to say goodnight to you guys and take care and see you guys soon. Mm -hmm.